Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload documents to use in your modules and to create discussions. So once you've logged into your class, you're gonna go ahead and click once again on modules. As I've mentioned before, I find that's the best way for students to access all of their course data. If we have all these other things open, like assignments, quizzes, et cetera, they're going to go all over the place. It's like putting them on a straight path to access everything if we just have them go to modules. So if I have my first module open here on narration, and let's say I have a video, or sorry, um, a PowerPoint presentation that I usually use in a face-to-face -face classroom for a lecture, I am going to add a file. Now it's gonna be a new file because it's something I need to find on my, on my computer. So I'm going to browse and search for all of my things. I'm gonna go to my teaching files. And I'm gonna go to Delta College. And let's say I'm doing 1A. Oh, there's something from the bell jar. Oh, here we go, the writing process. There's a PowerPoint presentation. I'm gonna go ahead and open that and add item. Now, the great thing about Canvas is it's gonna convert my PowerPoint slides to one long document that the students can scroll through. So if I have already saved my voice on um, a PowerPoint slideshow, that will upload as well so students can hear you speak or you can go through a PowerPoint presentation like I'm doing right now on Zoom and upload the video. But here it is, the writing process. They can see it's a PowerPoint presentation. I might wanna put that right under my lecture. And because it has to do with the lecture, I'm gonna go ahead and increase the indents a little bit because it's like an outline. First, they're gonna read my lecture about writing narrative papers, and then they're gonna see my PowerPoint presentation on the writing process. So if I click there, it'll take a moment for it to convert, but the file will upload. Again, it takes a moment. And you can upload files, any type of files from your computer. So it doesn't have to be a PowerPoint. It can be a PDF. It can be some type of Word doc that you've already created. So instead of starting from scratch, any handouts you already have saved on your computer, you can go ahead and upload as a file. However, I suggest creating those handouts as assignments or pages so that you don't have to convert them like this did. So this is, again, a great way for PowerPoint slideshows. So instead of us having a PowerPoint behind us, it's up here for them to read through. All right, so let's go back to modules and we're gonna talk about discussions. So I actually already added one in another um, video. So I'm gonna delete this for now, remove. Okay, so to add a discussion, here I am in my module, in my unit one, and I'm gonna click on the little plus sign and I'm gonna add a discussion. And it's gonna be a new topic and I'm going to say my narrative topic. And then maybe I'm gonna ask the students to share what topics they're gonna to write about in this essay. So we're adding the topic. I'm going to click on it. See, it's grayed out because it's not published. So I'm gonna click there. And similar to other items like Word, it's, it's, it has the same type of layout. So you've got this text box here where you can change the font and the style. But here is my discussion question. I will be sure to include my rules and expectations. Personally, I always tell the students that they need to participate on at least two different days a week, the first by Wednesday and the follow-up posts by Sunday. If you don't set an initial due date, the majority of your students will post on Sunday. So it's really important just to, to get them to participate more than once a week. So I've created my assignment, created my discussion, and down here is where it's really important. I wanna allow threaded replies so that my students can respond to each other. And I want to grade it. I can allow liking, again, that will be anonymous, but these are the things that are probably most important. So how many points do you want your discussion to be? You're gonna put that in there. And I am going to give it a due date. So let's say it opens, um, 
it opens next week and I'm going to have it run from Monday to Sunday. So it's going to be due on Sunday at 11:59 PM, but I don't want them to access it until Monday and I don't want them to access it after the due date. So these available dates are really important if you don't want to accept late discussions. So I have a due date, I have an available date and I'm going to save and publish. Again, to get that regular effective contact that I talked about before, you want to also post in here. So perhaps my reply, I am going to give an example. And I post the reply. And then I'm able to press reply to any other students who post. So it's really important that just like a regular class discussion area, we are participating in the discussion. And again, that's part of that regular effective contact that Delta really stresses the importance of doing. So that's our discussion. Those are our modules. Um, let's see, I went over announcements already. So I think that you're good to go. Yeah, I don't open it. I was making a video. Did you ask her for it? She wants it? Go give it to her then.